Alrighty guys, so in today's video we are testing two things that I thought we could get done in one video. We are testing the war practicality of the modulus regulator as well as taking a look at this quadcopter that's marketed as a reconnaissance drone. Now, the reconnaissance drone is kind of orbiting the battlefield and I am occasionally gesturing to the drone pilot with my arm to get him to kind of know exactly where I want to put it. Now, the footage is a little bit fuzzy, but I want to remind you that this is a not particularly expensive entry-level drone. As far as the regulator itself goes, it's a completely stock regulator running off of regular batteries. Nothing has been done to the blaster as of yet. Really just testing the practicality of select fire in a war situation, and in this case we are of course playing a game type called Defend the Core. Right now my team is attacking with these. The objective is to remove the defenders to this core and then shoot darts into that hole which will eventually fall into the bag underneath. Then we count up the points at the end, but that's a basic overview of what's going on. Let's just enjoy the footage. All right, go robot. Alright, so hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. It is, as always, an excellent look at the SENC Wars. We have such an awesome time hanging out and nerfing together that I'm really glad that you guys get to see little snippets of that on this channel. So, uh, why was some of that drone footage kind of funky? And then, why was I using the regulators? So, it's a funky hybrid video. I wanted to test the war practicality of a stock regulator at a super stock style war and I had the awesome opportunity to work with this drone company, uh, Colbury, and I'm sure I'm pronouncing that incorrectly, to test their drone. This is their Discovery Recon drone, and it's a really interesting entry level. So I kind of reviewed two things. So we'll start with the Nerf Blaster because it's easier. I've been reviewing those for a long time. The regulator is pretty expensive for a flywheel primary, and was it war practical? Uh, not against other modified blasters. So I think that stock the regulator is an interesting blaster, but not necessarily good enough to hold its own in battle. That's why, if you'll notice, this regulator um, <laughs> is half a regulator right now because it's currently in the process of being modded, but I uh, lost a ton of really good Mavic Pro drone footage that my, my great friend Chris was working on. And sometimes, like, when you work for yourself, you can get into these real funks over silly little things, and Chris is gonna blame himself. Chris, do not blame yourself. Stuff happens and all you can control is how you react to it. In this case, 
I reacted pretty poorly to it because not only did I lose the drone footage from the Mavic, but I also had to recover that drone footage from the Colibri itself from a corrupted SD card. And that took a long time, but the time it was done, I felt like the project was late and I hadn't uploaded in two days. And not uploading in two days is highly, highly unusual for me, so I felt bad about that. And as you guys know, when you take like even the smallest of breaks on YouTube, uh, they stop pushing your videos and your viewership dies. And so there was this really funky spiral effect and I like had to snap myself out of it because tomorrow is Blade Show. But uh, before we get into that, as far as the Colibri drone goes, for a little over a hundred bucks you get a drone, two batteries, a charger form, it charges very quickly, roughly five minutes of flight time I found in practicality, and a pretty decent camera. Is it great? No. That is, of course, recovered footage, not exactly footage, and that's recovered from my friend's phone file, because the Colibri does a really good job of connecting to your phone. You can use your phone as an inbuilt heads up display and as long as you're within about 50 yards of the drone you get an awesome pretty clear picture especially on a super small phone screen so blown up to whatever you're watching on YouTube it might not look super crisp but it is actually practical as a war recon drone in that if you had your phone and it was in a hovering position you could use it to sweep in and gather uh, intelligence or reconnaissance so it's a really cool like entry-level drone if you're into like backup style uh, footage or things like that. It is very compact, it's not particularly expensive, coming with two batteries and a reasonable um, app interface for its already uh, built in. It doesn't control itself from the app, but it has a controller separate. So I thought that it was really nice for the price point and they were kind enough to sponsor this video and send over the drone. So like, huge thank you to Colibri, I loved working with your product. I'm sorry that the SD card got corrupted. I don't think that that's its fault. And then, I mean, I am not a top-notch drone pilot. So I did the best that I could, but I hope that it was good enough. I definitely highly, highly recommend your product as an entry-level drone. I don't think that it competes at all with Phantom or Mavic style footage, but it's not really designed to do that as it does not have a gimbal. And then since I took a few days off, I feel really, whoops, uh, guilty about not communicating that to my patrons on Patreon. So I do want to let them know that just a sneak preview of this month's blaster and this is what you get. So like this is going to be pretty exciting. Yes, it's another strife, but I was doing a large, large batch of blasters, all of which are hydro dipped. And so I still have that kit left over and I wonder what I could be working on with black and white on a strife. But uh, thank you guys very much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. I'm again, super apologetic that it took longer to get out than I'd like, but I'm gonna go back to doing those daily videos now because I feel like I have my fire back. I took a step away from it and it's really good for perspective. So tomorrow is Blade Show, exciting stuff going on. I'm doing modifications. I have guests in the studio, let's go. Thank you.